Hey guys, this is Izzy, and on this video, I'll be covering the technique for painting one-stroke roses. I'll be using a 3 quarter inch angled brush, a one-stroke cake, and a dry sponge. When it comes to roses, I find it easier to use an angled brush, but this technique will work for any size flat brush. Try it out with different brushes and see what works best for you. One of the tricks to getting well-defined roses is to choose a one-stroke cake that has high contrasting colors. For example, this pink cake does have a light and a dark color, but the tone of the pink in the middle is too similar to the magenta for me. On the other hand, this cake has a burgundy and a red, which gave me a darker gradient. Both of these cakes are great, it just depends on the look you want for your design. If you are using an angled brush, make sure you load the lighter color on the long end of the bristles. To make a petal, place your brush at a 45 degree angle, making sure the lighter color is on the outer edge of the petal. And begin to move your brush in an upward motion as if making an upside down U. You can give it some texture by wiggling your brush up and down as you come around. You can also make the petal smooth with a point or any other style you would like. There's not right or wrong. To begin painting the rose, you first start with the outer petals. Depending how much space you have, you can make the first layer with about 4 to 5 petals. For a more open rose, place your petals further apart, leaving an empty space in the middle. One of the problems I encountered when I first started making roses was that my petals would get lost in between layers and I wouldn't get a well-defined rose. As you see here, the second layer is becoming a bit muddy and the petals are becoming less and less defined. In order to avoid this, you have to make sure each layer is completely dry before adding onto it. You should also reload in between strokes and clean out your brush and cake if they become muddy. A useful trick to quickly dry part of a design is to take a dry sponge and lightly dab the area. Now begin to add the second layer by adding a petal in between each petal from the first layer, making sure that your brush has a lighter color on the outer edge. Add as many layers of petals as you would like before adding the center. To make the center of the rose or a rosebud, make a small petal by painting an upside down U. For the bottom part, make a regular U with the lighter color still at the top. This stroke should come just under the dark color from the stroke beneath, that way you'll get a nice definition. You can also add a smaller petal to create a tighter center. To complete the center of the rose, you are going to paint two smaller petals on each side by making a backward C. For this particular stroke, press down on your brush and give it a small twist as you come around. But halfway through the motion, you are going to lift your brush a bit on the front and end the stroke by following through with a lighter color. Repeat this stroke but in the opposite direction. You can continue to add more of these petals as needed. And there you have it, a one stroke rose. And as always, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching.